So as you can see, the menu bar is colored as well as the window caption and the status bar. This tab allows switching the table block decoration between three different schemes. Actually, they simply correspond to different tags entry in the CSS file. You can see that even the block title supports enhanced text with gradients. In this tab canvas, I will show you many objects that you can create and handle at one time. You can add lines, squares, and text anywhere on the canvas. The text decoration can be highly elaborated with different strokes and fillings, including patterns and images. They can be scaled, justified, and also stretched to fit a given box. You can add and modify frames anywhere on the canvas. You can set the title position on top, on the side, or the bottom. Change the title, border, shadow, and background colors. But also set the gradient frame background by adding a second color. And more important, switch between hidden and visible states. Menu bars or menu options can also be added at runtime. It is so easy to adjust the menu bar dynamically to the required situation, but also create a form startup a complete one new menu from scratch. You can create and display dynamic pop-up menus, then choose which one to display at which moment. It is easy to display text in pop-up bubbles to draw the end user attention. You can set the colors and the display duration. You can also display long text in scrolling panel, including HTML format. In the same way, you can add items anywhere at, one, at any time, like single or multi-line text fields, checkboxes, buttons, images, and sliders. Dynamic items can be grouped in a panel to facilitate the handle. The image items can be populated from a jar file, a client machine file, an internet URL, but also from the database. Each dynamic item sends even back to form to give indication about the object type, the object name, the event type, and the event value. We will see how forms can handle asynchronous events coming from the outside. I configure the plugin to become a socket server listening to a specific port, but in an asynchronous way. For example, I created a storage procedure that sends message on that port every two seconds. And you can see the forms receive the emails at the same time the end user is updating the dialog. The dynamic image item can be populated with an image read from the client, the application server, the internet, or the database. It can also be populated by drop dropping an image file into it. Additionally, the end user can display the image in its original size in a separate window. In this slide, you can see how standard form widgets are overloaded by their corresponding lab PGCs. Buttons can mix a label and an icon, 
and I have a gradient background. We also can have a non rectangular shape inside any kind of shape. The top list on TEDIS supports colorization. The TEDIS can handle multiple selections and be sorted. See how you can change the wall form modular stack simply by dynamically changing the current screen. In this tab, you can see how two multi line text items. The first one is able to display an edit text of several megabytes. You can search to find a wall or quickly jump to any part of the text. The second is able to display an edit on HTML content. This text item can be populated from a client file. Or read from the database. The HTML content can also be read from the internet. HTML maps are supported. This sample shows you show how you can display individual information by clicking different parts of the map. In another use, it could offer an elegant web type menu where image parts will replace the standard menu entries. This is an example of how to use a dynamic image item to show a video chart. As a lab dynamic image can be populated from an internet URL, it is easy to turn it into a chart area. Finally, here is a component designed to show multiple, multiple images in a small room. The image spinner can be populated from the jar file, the client machine file system, an internet URL or the database. Additionally, the end user can drag and drop images filed directly to the component. Thank <laughs> you.